guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday. And today, we're looking at the new Honchkrow GX. We're actually partnering with Seismito GX. Now, a lot of this stuff is not new. Uh, the only thing really new is going to be this new Honchkrow GX. Uh, maybe there's some new item cards that might be in play with this, but I think it's going to be kind of the st st standard, like, I'm going to lock you out kind of deck that we've seen from Science Road, but now we have this new Honchkro GX. So everything, we pretty much know all this stuff does. The only thing we really have in here that's kind of surprising is a Dark Patch, um, and we'll go over that in a second, why that's such a big deal. But we're playing a 3-3 Honchkro GX. So Honchkro GX has the ability Ruler of the Night. As long as this, this, this Pokemon is your act Pokemon, your opponent can't play any Pokemon tool, special energy, or stadium card from their hand, which is fantastic and expanded. There is a ton of decks that play special energies. And we have the attack Feather the Feather Storm. It does 90, and this attack does 30 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon two of your opponents bench Pokemon GX and EX. So 90, you can do um, choice band 120, Verbank Laser. You can do 160, coming back into you. I mean, you can do all these, like, laser manipulation, which is pretty cool, right? I think it works, right? So, nice and low to 34. You can do 150, come back to you 180, and then you can snipe on the bench if, the, if that Pokemon does stay active, and you can knock out, like, a Zark on the bench or something that way if you put Guzma, bring one up, something like that. Um, I guess one thing we could include in here, now I'm thinking about more and more, is Dark Rise, since we do play six Dark Energies. Cut, like, the Flow Stones, and you can play that, um... Which I think I might want to do that right now. Like I said, this is still work in progress for sure. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna put a dark ride here. But where's dark ride at? Dark ride. There we go. Get that free retreat. Cause we do play the the six darks, and we'll just put a seventh one in there. There we go. All right. So there we go. There's a better way to retreat there instead of the float stones. All right. Anyways, so Feather Storm 90-30, spreading, making where they can't play special energies, tools, or stadium cards, which is fantastic because a lot of Pokemon in this expanded play um, special energies. We have Unfair GX, your opponent reveals their hand, you discard two cards from it. Not that big of a deal, right? Uh, Orin Guru for that resource management to get back your re resources if need be. Uh, Tapu Lele for support. And three Slice Toads. Slice Toads is really good to counter all the other decks like, um, let's say, Vega Volt, stuff like that. Anything that can be Quake and Punch kind of lock items out, which is fantastic. So you have this like item lock inside to shut down the Vega Volt, stuff like that. Um, Peek and Rom, that could be very useful as well if you limit their abilities to use, um, you know, their. Their max looks or stuff like that. You can really shut it down with Tysto, which is great. And that Honchkrow is great against all those Pokemon that use special energies. Now, remember, it is Pokemon. Well, okay, now I'm thinking about it, we're going to take Darkrai out. I know, we're bouncing back and forth. And the reason why is because you don't want your opponent to Guzma up anything. Because if they Guzma up something, then Honchkrow is not active anymore. It doesn't work. Uh, so I really don't want to put that many bench Pokemon or Pokemon on my bench if. Um, we're going for the more Honchkrow strategy. So I'll keep it here instead. Everything else, we, we pretty much know what it is, right? We know what all these cards do. We're just going to play some games, see how this rolls, and uh, play some Honchkrow. <clears throat> like I said, it's like two different decks, basically. Like, Honchkrow is going to shut down the energy stuff. Sidestone is going to sh shut down the setup decks. And I think with the combination of these two, we actually have a good chance of winning. Zora, what you doing? I couldn't really figure out another way to play a Honchkrow, really. Um, I think this is probably one of the better ways. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, like, we're playing against Zork right now. If it's Zork, with special energies, we have our Honchkrow, stuff like that. We can get rid of their DCEs. And they really can't do anything after that. So, we got the sides to start. Our hand is pretty bad. Uh, but, I mean, if they start an egg, we got Verbeek Laser. We could win the game right now. So, press done. Okay. Let's see. Ralts. So, we'll go Verbeek Laser. Okay. They go to sleep. We'll go Nest Ball for a Murkrow. Alright. <clears throat> Put down a Dark Energy. Press done. Take a 30. Come back into us. We'll get knocked out. Let's see. Bump our stadium. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. Maybe it could be really good, right? Uh, knocking out the Ralts very quickly. Now, this is something I really don't want to play against. A combination of the two. I think Sidestone Quake and Punch are still very strong, though. So Field Blower, get rid of our Verbic City Gym. That's unfortunate. There's a computer search. 
discarding a stretcher and a fair to Jesus could get anything. Um, maybe a Brigetti here to find multiple Pokemon, something like that. I do think this is probably a harder matchup, uh, but we'll see. I don't know what my cat's doing. Can you see her? Can you see her right now? What is she doing right now, guys? Can you see her? Right there. All right, so see Zora, Zora, Ralph's coming down, and Boys and Damage coming down. All right, so in our turn, well, well, we attach a Dark Energy active, we would be able to take a knockout right now, so that's upsetting. Uh, Burbank Pass, knock out the Ralts at least, I guess, is one thing we could go for. Uh, take a price card, there's a VS Seeker, well, that's not very good. We don't have anything to VS Seeker for, Josh. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see what they decide to do here. At least they're going to knock out on the Ralts, that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh... Not cool that we're down to Verbink now. Obviously, we couldn't use Loose Man either because Loose Man is banned and expanded, if you don't know that. Huh. I mean, if we try to get Ultra Ball or Computer Search, we're looking okay. I'm pretty sure Toppy Lele's in the deck. Okay. So, he's waiting our opponent. Man, if only we would attach a Dark Energy to active and put another Dark Energy, we could have started attacking this turn. Um, I don't know what the holdup is, though. Maybe they don't know who to promote right now. Or maybe they just disappeared. Okay, Tapu Layla coming up after they put it okay. Alright, Tapu Layla coming up with the DCE. There's another DCE. And you drive for 80. Uh oh. Um I should grab another toad. Put down the toad. Press done. Okay. <clears throat> huh. We both don't have anything. Will they come in on another energy? And that will take a knockout. I mean, yeah. That will take a knockout if they do do that. Hopefully, if, we, if they do take a knockout, hopefully we talk an in. That would be really cool. Like, choice spin in. Put them at four. Quake and punch them. And then maybe the next turn go for a Murkrow somehow. I don't know. Maybe they have an in in their hand as well. They don't know they should play it or not. Like, okay, I have this in, but I want to play it, but I don't want my opponent to draw into cards. Maybe that's what's going through their head right now. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh, another DC has been attached to Topu Lele. Another. Oh my goodness. 120. Oh, well, I guess we'll set up a Seismitoad at least take a turn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Azora hit the field. Fair to Ralts. Will we see another energy drive? Cynthia getting a new hand of six. Alrighty. There is a Curly coming along. I mean, a Ralts coming along. There's a Zork. Will we see a fourth D? Oh, we already touched a uh, Fair to there. Okay. Oh man, this has turned out terrible. All right, Ultra Ball Way of Mew and a Rare Candy. Gonna find another Zark. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. Okay, Trading Way of VS Seeker. Energy Drive. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 cards. have not seen any Ultra Ball or, <laughs> or anything to help us out at all. Great. <laughs> I thought we played enough supporter cards. Maybe we don't. I know we play Ultra Balls in our deck. Um, oh, this lady is about to take all six prize cards, it looks like. Unless we can get a Murkrow or Honchkrow, Energy, Choice Band, Laser, keep the Tapu Lele asleep. Oh, just pass. All right. Well, Computer Search. Let's discard one or two. 
Let's grab, did we just go in here? Let's go in. Let's put choice here, in. We get five, they get four. Maybe we should have went to somewhere else. Okay. We can go, um, hmm. Yeah, let's just go ahead and hand sandwich, discard the DCE off this guy. DCE, Quake It Punch? Okay, and then next time we're actually gonna knock it out with a Haunch Crow, and then make it where they can't play DCEs the following turn? Okay, Parallel City, fine. Okay. We'll see some trades happening. Discard's an in. Yeah, I mean, we're going Lele, and then we're going to go, I guess, Cynthia is our best option. Because this deck doesn't play Sycamore right now. Another trade. Okay. There's a Gardevoir. That's great. That's bad. Roth's coming down. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. Everything is terrible right now. Maybe should have gave up an hour to go, but we'll try. 120, going to the two. Send up Markro on our turn. What we got? DC, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. That is bad news for us. Hmm. I don't have to go these two. Go for this guy. Hmm. Oh, and not that guy. Go for this guy. Okay. I mean, if they got Guzma's game anyway, they'll just one shot of Lele. Yeah, that's uh, not a good game right here, guys. This is terrible. Terrible. Maybe the list is not so good. We'll go Cynthia. Hope we hit a dark energy. Well. Uh, I guess we'll go for Unfair GX. Get rid of that. And that. Okay. Rick and Glade. Okay, we saw that. We knew that was coming. Premonition. Hmm. Get to range top five cards of the deck. Have they played Guzma yet? They have not, have they not? Nope, they have not. Trade, oh man, will we see Guzma come online? Secret Spring. Okay. Attach, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. It's your boy Guzma, bring up the Murkrow, okay. We only have one option, to smack him and hope he stays asleep. Well, this is not going how I want it to go, guys. Going to one price card. Uh, it's all up to Honchkrow here. Well. Um, yep. Yep. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. I mean, they, they probably have a game. Like, why are, we, why are we still recording this, Josh? Why are we still showing this right now? This is a terrible game. This is not how I want it to go. He can see your spring attach a glade and one shot us. Uh, what no, resistant to fighting. Or we to lightning. That's why I have a side story here so we can peek around that way, Josh. Duh. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, he's got the game. He's got it. There's no way he doesn't have the game. Anyways, on to game two. Maybe we need some supporter cards in this deck. Hmm. Let's try it again. Game two. Punny against Nymph. Nymph. 
finish some 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 something. Call heads. Lost the coin flip. Great. Of course, they're gonna want to go first. Alrighty. But we'll see what we have here. Well, I mean, we got a good hand. What's we just don't have any supporter cards? Uh, I'm turning Ultra Ball discarding Double Dark. That'd be really nice. Um, giving us the capability again, Tapu Lele. There's a Dark Ride with Nightmare Star. Okay. I don't think he wants to start with this because when you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench, then you determine to attach two Dark Energy from your hand to it. So that's not good to start with it. We've got DCE Laser. So if it is a setup deck with like Dark Energies and Max or Dark Patches and Max Luxers, we're looking good on that end. Uh, just Laser Toad is really nice. So we'll see here. But once again, just no, just ah, huh. huh? We'll see here. What is our opponent gonna do? Seems like everybody wants to take their sweet time today. Okay, opponent. Anytime there, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Well. Uh, okay. Okay. What is happening? I'm sticking with the list. We're not changing anything right now. We're going to see how bad this list is. I think that's what we're testing today. Is how bad is this Honchkrow sides to a list? Is it as terrible as what it seems? Seems like it. Because uh, both games so far. Lackluster. I mean, we had a DCE laser. Okay. Let's try it again. B Cruzilla. What 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 deck is this? All right. One the coin flip. Great, fantastic. Yes, I'd love to go first. Is this? I don't know. All right, we finally find some supporter cards. Turn one. Great. Hope we get a DCE. Maybe a Floodstone attachment. It depends on what kind of deck we're playing against, right? Night March. This could be, I mean, so this is actually an okay matchup because we get the Honchkar out, we pretty much win. Let's uh, uh, grab a Murkrow. We'll put down the Murkrow. Pass. Uh, so we're we'll gonna next turn. It's Floatstone Computer Search for um, an N or VS Secret for Cynthia. Hope to hit Dark Patch DCE. Maybe, maybe we do need one Juniper in the deck. So Acrobike. So can they get a billion item cards in this card or a billion Night March in this card pile? Because once we get the a Hunch Girl up line, we pretty much win um, because they can't really do anything. They can't Ranger. Uh, Ranger doesn't work. Hex is banned. So, we'll see here. Combi. So, it's a, oh, it's a national winning list. Combi coming down. Shea Bay for four. All right. Let's see, how many do they have in there so far? There's a DC being attached to Marshadow. Guzma. Oh, nope, Marshadow. Okay. Hmm. All right, just pass for 10. Not where you want to be if you're a Night Marcher. Well, Floatstone Computer Search. Yeah, I guess we'll go Via Seeker for Cynthia. Yeah, definitely need a Juniper. That'd be really nice right now. Juniper 7, be good, ready to go. Uh, so we got the Haunch Grow. We can go DCE Quake and Punch, knocks him out, can't use item cards. It's not a bad thing at all. Yeah, so Quake and Punch here. For 30, Poison, knocking him out. Going down to 5 prize cards. We find another Size of Toad. And, I mean, we could have, like, retreated the Haunch Grow and just sat there. Oh, this Combi could be very scary, though. Uh, I mean, there's only two in there, so Beat Revenge is not doing too much either. Oh, there's Fest Queen. I know they hit for weakness, but they need a bunch of Pokemon in this card to actually make it work, right? Beat Revenge is 20, 
30, 40, so doing 80 right now. Need a long way to go there, and they can't use item cards since we Quake punched them. Huh. <laughs> so it's your boy Guzma. Bring a Punch Crow. Sending his Marsh Shadow. <clears throat> okay. And just passes. So we go Dark, Verbank, Laser. If we had a DCE, we'd be looking really good. Uh, but either way, he can't attach any DCEs. Uh, he does wake up, though. All right. If we, if we top pick a DCE, we're looking nice. We all have resistance. So that's really nice going for us. Uh, right now, he can't really Night March because there's only Pumpkin with the Discard Pile. It does copy a basic Pokemon to Discard Pile, but he needs uh, another energy or... Actually, he can't do anything right now because of Honchkrow. Honchkrow's going to make it where he can't use Tool of Special Energy or Stadium Cards. So now he can't attack. Very interesting, right? He can't put down anything. And so this, yeah. So he has to get another VS Seeker to bring our Toad back up to even have a chance to do anything. So another Shave come down. Going to Shave A for five. Yep. All right, let's see what they got here. So Acabike. Oh, they have to find a VS Seeker, sorry. This card's a DCE, okay. Compressor. This card's three, okay. Ultra Ball. I wonder if he knows what my cards do, what, what Honchko does. Hmm. And then the Mars Shadow, okay. So now he can't attack because he has Joltik. Uh, so. 3678 or 367, 140 right now. Alright, 120 because resistance. Poison damage. Let me top like a DCE here. Hmm, it's not what I wanted to see. Uh, so Nest Ball. Wow. Our other guy is prized. Um Let's grab nothing. R retreat. Quaked punch. Hmm. He has knocked out coming back into our turn, which is nice. Um, does he find another DC? If he doesn't put another DC down, then we get to retreat to this guy, Lysander. No. Okay. See, oh man, I can't believe your prize. The other two Haunch Crows. Okay, Night March. He gets knocked out as well, so we go down to three. Okay. Murkrow and Enhanced Hammer. Very nice two cards to get. <clears throat> we just gotta find a VS Seeker and we'll be looking okay. Okay. Marsh Shadow coming up. So we got the Marker. We can go via Seeker for Cynthia. Okay. Let's see, yeah, we'll go Cynthia, get a new hand of six. Alright, so we can go DC here. Quaker Punch for 30. And then if he swings for a knockout somehow, we could fobble Ultra Ball for Honchkrow and then pretty much win the game from there because he really can't do anything after that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. Three, six, seven. He's only doing 140, so that doesn't even knock us out. How many VS figures is down? Just a pass. Yeah, I think I'm sort of gonna go Ultra Ball, discard one and two to find a Haunch Crow. We'll put down a Haunch Crow and then Via Seeker for Cynthia. Yep, we'll get a new hand of six. 
All right, so we got Dark Energy, Verbic Laser, so that'll take a knockout. So you go here, Laser. We will retreat here, and then go Feather Storm 120, put 30 here and 30 here. Alright, there we go. So that's very nice. So we got a one prize card. <laughs> Not like I turn like all different ways. <laughs> Murkrow and Choice Band. Alright, and the Choice Band will allow us to take one shot on that Mars Shadow. Uh, Vespa Queen can't really do anything unless he goes Guzma on the Toad. But then if we go Guzma and Toad, we got an Enhanced Hammer to get rid of the DCE. And then we have no more bench Pokemon. And then he can't do anything. So I think this is great. Yeah, this card's a Doltic, okay. We actually just win next turn, actually. We just goose them up the Shebe and just, like, one-shot it. But, either way, uh, there's an N, okay. This is fine. Uh, yeah, this is a much better game here. Oh, just a Dark Energy. Compressor. And I use that with three DCEs as well. Oh, two DCEs, okay. Discards three, okay. Okay, there's another Compressor, Okay. I mean, we're going to keep stacking damage on the Shaman as well. Put another 30 on this Marsh Shadow. Bring it down to 90. Lieutenant Surge being discarded. I was thinking about putting Lieutenant Surge in his deck, but I just obviously opt to not to. And a Victor Screen. I mean, he realized he really couldn't do anything. Um, that's pretty much like what this deck wants to go for. Early game, you go Toad, and then you just like go Haunch Crow, and then you really can't do anything. So that was a pretty good... Uh, what the deck should look like, right? Against these special energy decks. You should just eventually just win. Because they can't do anything. If you just like limit your bench to just a haunch crow, there's nothing they can do if they don't play a Garbodor or something. Uh so we'll see what the, what happens here. And let's look at how the Zorak Guardi Gardevoir deck, what is happening? This these <laughs> we shouldn't be playing against these decks. <sighs> Maybe that's not what it is, and I'm just I'm just like paranoid now that we're gonna play against a bunch of these decks. But yeah, I think any kind of special energy deck, you should just be able to destroy with the Haunch Crow. Um, just like saying, like, eh, you know, you're not playing the energies. But opponent is going first. Hmm. Once again, no supporter cards. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm just so used to playing Zork, and that's what's, what's hurting my, uh, my deck building, right? Okay, Zora Zora Klefki. So, Compressor. I mean, even with Zork, we have Honchkrow to limit their bench, which is really nice. Um, like, just making it where they can only do 120 a turn to two shot while you're two shotting them as well. And they can't play DCE. So, like, it's a fine matchup. Um, at least I think it is in my head. Now, if it's Garbodor, of course, that becomes different, right? Uh, but once again, if you get the Honchkrow and you get their only tool off the field, then they really can't do too much anyway. So, Oranguru coming out. Okay. Man, I really hope we top deck something here. An egg coming down. Okay. Is he ready? To, is he about to chorus? I think we're about to see is a chorus happen here. Uh huh. An N. Why would you drop eggs and N? I don't know. <laughs> it's like the same hand. It's almost the same exact hand. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my gracious. Goodness gracious. Okay, there's a chorus. Oh, that's what I thought he was trying to go for the last turn. Well, I have to, right? I have to field blur that off. And in that turn, we can fob away a DC next turn if need be. Um, so, unfortunately, just pass. Don't need him to start one-shotting stuff. <laughs> 
we can help make that not happen, that would be great. Double Zark, great. 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 Uh huh. Yes. Great. Trade. Okay. Discarding egg. Drawing two cards. Okay. Great. Another another trade here. Okay. 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 Um. They probably put like what two more Skyfields. They even play three Burbank, so That's really nice. We already got Faba in hand if we need Faba for DCE. Unless we top deck something, then uh, we'll play a different supporter card. <laughs> so, egg, okay. And we can laser this turn and hopefully do something. Like, if we top deck a DCE and, like, laser Faba DCE, that's still not too bad. We got Choice Ben as well. So, Douse Machine. Got to find him the Skyfield, most likely. Yep. They were below Skyfield. I mean, I still think we have a good shot if we can just if we get one Honch Girl online and get rid of his only. Oh my goodness, there's a Ditto. That Ditto scares me. That Ditto can become a, a Garboder. About to see a course for nine. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and no propagate. There you go. Drop both your your eggs. Ultra ball both the eggs. Get another Zora. Or is this, is this where we see Trubbish come online? Now, if he's playing Trubbish, I'm not too scared about the Garbodor, Garbotoxin. I'm more scared about the Trash Lynch because that can actually hurt us. Uh huh. A Shebe for two? One. And then Colors for nine. He's already traded. Already did everything else. Colors for nine. Does he find a DCE to one shot us? Oh, there it is. Well then. Moment of truth. What do we get off this top deck? I hope it's something good. Pokemon, please help me. Okay, we can go Enhance him with the DCE. Faba the Skyfield. Okay. Um I have to stretch the toad back in my hand, or we just lose. So a laser. Stretcher. Yeah, we gotta put that on the toad and we just auto lose. Man, what is happening? No ultra balls, no nest balls, no computer search, no no <sighs> Okay. Another Skyfield, great. Just what I needed. Man, this should be like an auto win. If we do that hunch card out, we win. Like we hundred percent win. I think we just win. There's the Trubbish I was talking about. Mine put on line as well. Um, let me see another VS Secret of Chorus. Propagation. Just, just keep going, opponent. Trade, okay. I mean, out of this hand, there's got to be cards in there he doesn't need. That's all I got to say about that. Like, he should definitely be just... There has to be something here he doesn't need. Okay. Great. He's got the knockout. Hmm. So, there, there's definitely some work to be done here. Um, yeah, he's got the game. That's great. Yeah, I'm proud of you, buddy. Proud of you. Keep going. Just keep going. Um, let's, go, let's go to deck manager real quick. Because right now, what we're playing, 
two, three, four draw supporters. So I'm going to get rid of the special charge. We probably don't need that. I like the Faba. Ace roll is needed. Maybe we don't need the lasers? Hmm. So we get rid of the lasers and the Verbanks. And instead we play like Parallel City. Right? So we play some like three of these. And then we play like Sycamore. Yeah, play like another two, Cynthia. I still like the Faba. I like the Dark Patch, Power of Hunch, Guard of Nowhere. Maybe Oranger is not needed. Um, I was thinking we can use Oranger to get back our DCEs if needed. No, let's cut Oranger for a special charge. I was using Oranger basically to help win. Um, to get back our lasers and stuff, but let's go this way instead. That hit it twice. Where's supposed to charge at? There it is. All right, let's play this one last time. We, we, we've added a bunch of supporter cards. We'll go for it. We'll see what happens. One last time. Hopefully, we draw all bad as we did again, then it's not, it's not meant to be. But I really do think lasers are needed in this list. I think 100% they're needed, right? But... I don't know. Okay, Eric, JR100. Uh, but then I think if you don't have lasers, your Pikachu it match it becomes terrible. See, I think that's why you need lasers because you're really punching a Pikachu Zacron for like 50 a turn, which is it's not good. So that's why I had the lasers in here. And I think we're playing against a Pikachu deck. So we can find a way to get more support cards in the deck as well as lasers. They've been looking really good. Um, so if you have any suggestions, then let me know down below in the comments. Hmm. All right, get a mulligan. All right, so got Toad. Press done. Also, that this makes it we do less damage as well. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. And it's a Pikachu on deck. What did I tell you? I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I knew we were going to play Pikachu on deck as soon as they got lasers out. <sighs> and we'll wait till lightning. You know what? I think I'm calling it, guys. Uh... Wait, we saw how good it was against special energy decks, but how do we handle everything else? That's the question. I don't know yet. Huh. We'll play it out and see what happens. But I mean it's it's looking very bad. Like I'm not I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna look it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be terrible. Cause Haunch is bad in this matchup. Toe's only punching for maybe fifty max. And that's it. That, and, I mean, and that's that's the truth right there, right? So Stella Wishing, okay. Yeah, E Hammer is useless unless they put down flash energies. There's a field blower, okay. <clears throat> Parallel City is useless. Oh my goodness. This thing just one shots us next turn. Okay, well, we got the DCE, so we can swing. He can't knock us out next turn, but the following turn, we're going to be in for a rude awakening. <laughs> and, like, since has a choice band, it just, uh, can pull blitzes for a knockout. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't know how we could take down these decks. I, I think we do need lasers of Verbank. So we just see another energy attached. He's just going to just mainly power this Pikachu Zacharom and just blow us up. And, uh... What can we do about that? Pretty much nothing. There's a field blur again. So he's got. Oh, hey, we well, ended the way last turn. So uh, just go nine nine. Wake up, okay. And play chorus. 
Well, got another toad. We can nest ball. Go for Murkrow. <clears throat> Put down Murkrow and Quake and Punch, and then here comes Pikachu Zekrom running into the battle now. <laughs> and they're just gonna they're just gonna full blitz us and oh my goodness, this is looking terrible. Oh, this is not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Um Yep. Yeah. Unless they have no lightnings in their hand for some odd reason. And oh well <laughs> They got Volkner, who cares? Well, this game might be over quicker than I thought it wanted to be. Oh my goodness. Because we're going to get one hit. And then Murkrow can do 120, which is 170. They've got this game. They've got it. So what do we learn today? Maybe it's not as good as we thought it was. Uh, we definitely need Verbix the lasers in here. Do you even have a chance against Pikaram? Um, outside of that, mm, I don't know, guys. Maybe it's not as playable as I thought it was. I was like, yes, this seems really good. Honchgrove can shut down a lot of stuff. I mean, if you expect a very, very heavy, very, very heavy special energy deck, then Honchgrove is the way to go. I mean, even take down Trevenant and stuff like that, I feel like you have a good Trevenant matchup. But, I mean, okay, I do have somewhat of a plan. I'm not going to lie. I'm, we're not giving up hope just yet. We're not. We're not. Okay, there's, that's what I want to see there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about there. Great. That's not what I wanted to see. At least we can field blower. Get rid of one and two. Hmm. Quaked Punch. So. Oh, he can win right here. He can just tag bolt, win the game. Oh. Oh, Josh. It's game over. I was like, maybe. 160. Oh, we don't even have enough. I was like, maybe if we get a Tapu Lele DCE choice band, we could one shot the Pika ROM. But that couldn't happen either because we only do 190. That's still not enough. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We saw one game where Hunchko did well, but outside of that, terrible deck. Alrighty, bye.